Hey everyone, for my Maker Day challenge, I decided to redesign and create a prototype of Zoom within Webflow in 24 hours. And I packaged it within a sneak peek of my upcoming Mac OS Big Sur complete rebuild, which is coming towards the end of the year. Stay tuned for that. When you first arrive in the prototype, you're welcomed by the lock screen of the Mac OS. So if you click on the X, it just goes asleep. And if you click again, it brings it back. Let's click on the profile. Now we're in the desktop, right? At the top, we have the bar, the nav bar, and all the options. You can just hover in, hover out. And in the full prototype, you'll be able to actually access all of these options and functions as they are in the Mac OS. And at the bottom, we have our dock. You could just hover, hover in, hover out. And now let's jump straight into Zoom. I wanted to approach Zoom in a different way. Instead of just get, add, putting all these options and tags in front of you, I want to just kind of give you the main options that you need. And on the left, you have the time. So in the prototype, I'm actually capturing through some JavaScript your uh, device's actual time. And below it, you're able to see your upcoming meetings. On the right, if you click on Join, you can just customize your, uh, you, you can fill in your name, your personal ID, and so on. You can toggle in, toggle off, you know, audio and video, and then you can jump into the call. Or you could even go ahead and schedule a call. So I decided to add all these options in to you know, just add a little, little bit more of that realism so you can kind of imagine how this experience would work. And when you're done, this takes you back. And now we can start one of our calls. Let's go into Design Meeting. Here we are. So I've asked a little bit of help from some of our friends in the Maker community. And here you'll notice on the left, I'm capturing my device right now. So I'm talking to you. And I decided to add a little more effect. So I added some invert effects, some filters. You know, you can do a lot of interesting things with Webflow. And uh, on the canvas, I kind of wanted to approach Zoom differently from all these other video conferencing tools. I wanted to approach it as an open canvas that could be easily customized. So my vision here is on the top right, you have your members, which you can easily access at any time. You know, your list, add people, remove people. I feel like that's the most important function here, right? And I'm sure there are, you know, there are of course a lot of functions in Zoom. So, you know, if I was to sit down and completely, you know, take this idea to fruition, of course the, the design would, you know, reflect all the other options, but here are just the main ones. On the bottom right, we have our messages, you can just easily hover over them. You can see who's saying what. Just kind of pops in, pops out. And at the bottom, you can just mute yourself, your video, everything you know. But I added one additional feature, which I think would completely change the way that Zoom is used today. What I like to call the shapes. So you're able to customize the way you engage with these panels, with these videos. So my vision was, I unfortunately didn't have enough time during the challenge to, to do this for you. But the idea would be essentially, you would click on this box in the middle, this puzzle piece, if you will, and you would be able to customize the sizes, the shapes of each video. You could, for example, have one big circle with a lot of little circles below it. You could have straight up grids. So similar to this one, you could have a big, you know, rectangles, for example, you could just move them around as much as you like. Imagine if you went to full screen in full screen, the panel would just disappear the background. You wouldn't even need it anymore. You would just have the boxes beautifully just overlaid on the background. Maybe the full background would just kind of go a little dim just to kind of get rid of that clutter in the background. Right? So in this way, the whole website would become, the whole app would become much more dynamic and interactive for you. It would tell a story. It would let you tell your story. And I even had this idea of like being able to pick as the, let's say, organizer of this call, be able to just double click on a video panel and just highlight them, put them right next to me if that's the person I want to talk to, right? Or maybe I want to highlight a couple of people. And Zoom would just interactively start moving, you know, all these boxes around, all these panels around like a collage. And you would just be able to have such a different experience such a more personal and meaningful experience with the people you're talking to. You know, how is it that in real life, we can customize the way we look, the way we talk, where we stand, right? That just changes everything in communication, it makes everything more meaningful and dynamic. But when it comes to online, everything's static, it's flat. It's like you just have no control over that experience. So it's my ongoing mission to make the web feel more human uh, and to make products feel more human interactive and kind of uh, bring out the best in us. Um, and 
In no code, my mission is to push tools like Webflow to their limits and unlock their full potential and share them with you. And I hope that this small little prototype may have inspired you to bring your ideas to life. And of course, there's one little thing left. You can also drag your panel around the screen. There's full draggability. Unfortunately, it's lagging just a little bit because I'm sharing my screen, but you get the idea. Go to zooms.webflow.io to go check it out. And you can also go to webflow.com slash website slash zooms to be able to clone the project and play with it yourself. Good luck with your projects. Good luck to all the makers. And this was a lot of fun. Thank you to organizers of the Maker Day. Thank you for having me. All the best.